Hey, what's up you guys? Um, I just wanted to do a video on uh, 6.5 Creedmoor load development that uh, I've been working on. Uh, I think the last uh, load development video that I did was for 4570. You know, I've been working on this 6.5 Creedmoor load for my hunting rifle. It's um, a Savage 12 FV and 6.5 Creedmoor uh, that I had the barrel cut down to 16 and a half inches. Um, so that when I can run it suppressed and carry it around and it's not too terribly heavy. Uh, anyway, so uh, what I did was, you guys can see here, um, I started out by doing a, like a Satterley, you guys have probably heard of this, um, 10 round load development. Um, let me zoom in here. So what we did was I picked um, starting load uh, charge weights here. Uh, I loaded one for each of the charge weights going up. Uh, shot them over the chronograph. <coughs> and uh, if you guys watch the 4570, you should be familiar with this. Uh, but you can see what we're looking for is kind of these flat spots like this right here. And we've got three of them that look pretty good. Um, I'm always going to kind of tend towards the faster, faster side if I can get it to shoot well. Uh, so I decided on about 41.1 grains of H4350 uh, <coughs> with uh, 147 ELDMs. And this is uh, Starline uh, Virgin Small Primer Brass. And it was, uh, you can see temperature, humidity, um, all that good stuff altitude um, yeah so when I shot him over the chronograph uh, I basically just recorded the feet per second and uh, that we were what we were looking for is these flat spots and so I picked 41.1 grains and um, you can see the test loads um, I did at uh, 56 thousandths off the lands that's what uh, Hornady ELDX or the uh, yeah the ELDX uh, Precision Hunter is off the lands and it shoots pretty good of this rifle so I decided to shoot those uh, at that um, distance off the lands so anyway uh, we can move over here um, you can see this first test here was a rough seating depth test once I picked my load. Um, I actually backed it off to 40.1, which is also one of those flat spots, but it's kind of middle of the range and it's a little safer. Because uh, we were going to be seating these bullets all the way back to 110 thousandths off the lands. And I didn't want to run into any kind of like pressure spikes. So uh, when I do my rough seating test, uh, seating depth test, I wanted to run it. Um, a little lower in the uh, powder charge range. So uh, I went out and I shot uh, two separate three round groups at uh, 20 thousandths off the lands. You can see both these. Then I did 50 thousandths off the lands. I kind of followed Berger's um, VLD uh, seating depth uh, testing. Uh, you can see 80 thousandths off and then 110 thousandths off the lands. And what I'm looking for is uh, one of these ranges that shoots um, significantly better than the others. And uh, I didn't feel like I found one that was like great, but um, I did see that both of these between 50 and 80, I think I can work with these. Uh, and so what I did was uh, I had my reloading press with me out there and I had a, a bunch of uh, a bunch of these loaded up to 41.1 grains the load that I wanted to use um, <clears throat> and then I went and I started at 50 thousandths off the lands um, you can see not great uh, shot four and I didn't have a particular uh, set amount of these that I wanted to shoot uh, I had heard one time somebody had said this uh, about precision rifle shooting was when you're testing loads if you only do two shots right if I only have this one and this one these were my first two shots I'm not gonna waste anymore because it's not gonna ever get any better 
than this right so um, I just shot four um, I'm pretty sure that these are my first three and then my fourth and uh, I decided okay I'm gonna load some up here at 60 there's three shots Eh. went to 70 I shot three looked really good so I loaded another one up to uh, shoot here four yeah look really good so I'm thinking all right I'm gonna kind of see how big this node or this seating depth window is so I went up to uh, 74 thousandths shot two and uh, wasn't super impressed with that so I decided to go back the other direction and I loaded up and shot five at 65 thousandths off the lands and you can see kind of this window you know we can probably tweak it a little bit more this group here is probably more of a realistic um, size of group that I can expect out of 70 thousandths as well so I don't really know how big this window is uh, I may be able to go you know 71 72 take this down to you know 64 63 and kind of be in this acceptable range um, I mean this one measured at like 0.4 this one was at like 0.6 or 7 uh, and that's like really good for my hunting load I don't you know that's more than I really uh, and you know I can I can live with that is what I'm trying to say so <laughs> um, anyway you know I may tweak with it just because I like messing with things and like tweaking with it but um, what I'll probably do is load a bunch more up at 70 thousandths with this here uh, this isn't super high pressure I mean it's it's getting up there you can see over here on my when I did 42.1 um, you can see yeah 42.1 I got uh, a real high velocity spike and a heavy bolt lift and a pronounced ejector swipe so I mean that's kind of the high end of where I want to be um, so I should be pretty safe at 41.1 but um, I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I was shooting off the bipod and uh, a rear bag, so it's pretty stable. Um, so that's where I'm at, guys. That's uh, part one. I will update if I uh, if I go out and tweak the load a little bit more. Um, I'm just using a Hornady uh, custom grade, just a regular old expander ball, no bushing type die. Um, yeah, so just pretty basic die setup, um, but I'm pretty happy with the results. Um, it shoots the Hornady ELDX uh, 143 grains at about an inch pretty consistently. So uh, this was all using the suppressor. Next time, uh, I'll probably go out and try and verify these. Um, it actually tends to shoot a little bit better without the suppressor. So I'm interested in seeing if these groups tighten up even more or they go the other direction but anyway you guys thank you so much for watching uh, I appreciate you guys uh, let me know what you think of the video if you have any comments uh, like subscribe please let me know uh, if there's any other reloading videos you guys want to see uh, I'm doing 300 blackout um, still got 4570 stuff and uh, we might dip into some other calibers too so anyways thank you guys and I will see you on the next video